Hello viewers, I am Sakib. In this video tutorial, I am going to show how to use streamline diagram or cross functional flowchart diagram by using Microsoft VCO 2010. If you have Microsoft VCO 2010 or 2013 or the latest version, then you can do it easily. But you need to have Microsoft VCO 2010 or the latest version to follow accordingly. In this video, we are going to learn how to create your first streamline diagram or cross-functional flowchart diagram in Microsoft VCO 2010. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video tutorial. Actually, we are going to do three things. What is a streamline diagram actually? Okay, so let's see how we are going to use it. Press Windows plus S to bring up the search panel and then type VCO. You can see that I don't have Microsoft VCO 2010 uh, installed in my in my computer. So I'm clicking on this and pressing enter. We are going to go for UML. Then you can go to software and database and then you can click on or you can select UML model diagram and click on create button. Or if you want to go PMN diagram, then you can click on flow chart and then you can select BPMN diagram or if you want to go for cross-functional flowchart diagram what we are going to use in this tutorial click on flowchart and then click on cross-functional flowchart you can double click here to start instantly or you can click on the create icon so I'm clicking on the create icon right now so those were the templates you can choose different templates you can choose flowchart templates different categories of flowchart templates are there like BPMN diagram cross-section functional flowchart diagram or basic functional flowchart shapes in Microsoft Visio actually there are two type of shapes one dimensional shapes and two dimensional shapes are available there if you are going to look at in this part then you can see these are called stencils so if you are going to click on basic flowchart shapes then it, it is going to display its shapes and if you are going to click on cross functional flowchart shapes then you will you will see which shapes are available there okay so you can see when we have created a new cross functional flowchart diagram instantly actually it is showing something so these are called swim length here two functions are there this is one function and this is its swim length and this is another function and it is its swim length so there are two swim lengths here and there is a title you see these are called the ribbon tabs home tab insert tab design tab and actually we are going to focus on cross functional flowchart tab so if you are going to click on cross functional flowchart tab you will see different associated groups are there these are called ribbon groups Oops insert group arrange group and design group okay so i'm going to begin with these uh, ribbon groups let's see how we are going to add swim lens so you can add swim lens in different ways there are a lot of ways how you can add swim lens in your diagram basically what we are going to do here is we are going to create a normal cross functional flowchart diagram you can add swim lens in different ways one of the quickest way is to click on cross functional flowchart tab click on swim lens and it is going to add instantly an additional swim lane just after the last function or you can add a swim lane by dragging from here you can drag a swim lane here in this way you can add swim lane you can add swim lane by clicking on one swim lane and uh, by pressing ctrl you can see a plus sign is there over ma mouse you can add a swim lane in this way you can add swim lanes if you are going to add name like a and then you can move the swim lane from one portion to another in this way you can move and rearrange your swim lens and you can delete swim lens easily by pressing uh, by selecting a swim lens and then pressing delete key from the keyboard okay there are other ways you can add swim lens another quickest way is to hold your mouse over the corner and you will see a green triangle click on the green triangle and it will add new swim lens in this way you can add swim lens you can rearrange swim lens and you can delete swim lens easily next one is a separate day so we are deleting this one i'm adding we need four swim lens you can use separators in different ways you can drag separators from the stencils cross-functional flowchart shapes from here you can drag separators or you can click on cross-functional flowchart tab and then you can bring separators from here if you are going to select nothing then if you click on separator then it is going to divide the whole swim lens into equal two portions okay if you are going to divide this portion then you can click on this face and then you can click on separator again in this way it is going to divide again you, if you are going to use separators here or you can drag from here and according to your requirement you can place a separator there you can see that 
the faces are divided that means these are different faces now you can rename these faces like face 1 face 2 face 3 face 4 in this way so we need three faces i'm removing this right now i'm bringing separators i have placed two separators you can rename them by clicking on the face you can write initial preparations now how you are going to adjust it right now if you are going to click on this button fit page to current window then you can see it is going to fit and now you have used swim lens you have used separators before adding page write down your titles write down your faces and write down the function names I'm renaming function names right now so we have our uh, four swim lens and we have different faces in this tutorial I'm going to use three different faces the, the, you, you can see the name of the faces and you can see the swim lens uh, I'm going to use different processes here here. if you are going to click on basic flowchart shapes or quick shapes current shapes are available there basic flowchart shapes are going to contain six different shapes which are named as process sub process document data start and end and decision before adding processes it is better to use uh, orientation right now we are using horizontal orientation if you are go if you don't like it then you can change the uh, orientation into vertical position you are going to in this in this tutorial i'm going to use horizontal so i'm clicking on horizontal again so you can you can also change direction by using the direction key the, right now it is from left to right if you if you are going to use right to left then you can click on right to left and it is going to switch uh, we are using left to right so i'm clicking left to right again you can use different styles two of different styles are available then you can see it is going to change in this video tutorial i'm going to use the basic uh, or the default uh, style in the beginning we want to provide a starting point and ending point that's why we are going to use start and end by selecting a shape uh, you can start typing now you can uh, you can add shapes in different ways whenever you are going to click on uh, click on a single shape then you will see instantly around it uh, some triangles are available by using this triangle you can use right now you, you within the stencil within this area you can see the start and end is highlighted that's why you can see the preview it is going to bring another starting point or ending point because it is highlighted there if you are going to use uh, process next so click on process you can directly use right now you can preview the process in this way you can add quickly different shapes okay so we are going to use process so I'm just clicking on this triangle and it is going to add a process first i'm going to drag this from one area to another area or across lanes you can move easily to add another process you can add quickly there or you can add, you can drag you can also select from here you can preview if you want to use a sub process you can use this if you want to use decision then you can use the diamond sim shape or if you, you you can use this rectangle shape for a process and you can drag according to your requirement i'm going to use two processes here that's why i'm dragging two processes i'm going to use two decision here now you can add connectors you can ca add connectors in different way if you want to add connectors from one point to another then you can use this way or if you want to use uh, connectors manually so click on the home tab and you can connect to one point to another so I'm clicking on the connector right now click on one shape then drag and you can glue to shape you can see right now uh, there is a tool tip glue to shape if you are going to use glue to shape then you can use this or you can use glue to connection point different connection points you can add so I'm using glue to connection point it is going to establish a connection after using a connector you can add conditions so whenever we are going to use decision it can it can go for yes or it can go for no if you want to establish yes click on a character and you can double click write a text on it or apply a condition there so I'm using yes right now so if you want to move this yes from one portion to another right, right now I'm using this right now it is not the best place so we want to move this no click on this and then click on this and then you can drag this to somewhere else in this way to place the text according to your requirements you can place enter or you can just write it down it will set automatically if you want to adjust according to your way then you can press enter and then you can type again now you can apply some designs so click on the design tab and from there you can use backgrounds right now no backgrounds are there it is transparent right now so you can apply background and we want to apply this background then you can use borders and titles you are not viewing it we are not viewing it because it is covered cover up right now okay so you cannot fix titles here because borders and titles are actually with backgrounds so you have to set it there so click on background and you can set titles there 
Let's go to page one. Uh, we didn't learn how to add pages. If you can add page right now from the page here, we have done our diagrams a little bit. For adding page, you can apply design. Change the form, click on the home tab and you can click on the title and you can increase the size. You can apply different colors uh, easily uh, by using the fill option. If you want to add background color for a particular uh, swim lane, uh, you can use shadow. In this way you can add background. Right now we are not going for that so I'm undoing it. You can click on a particular, you can click on a particular shape. Then you can use fill colors to use your specific color. In this way you can apply our initial uh, designing. Uh, right now we can add different pages or additional pages. You are going to uh, add additional pages then you can do it easily by going to the cross functional flowchart tab and then you can use add a different page. As soon as you are going to add a different page you will see the background is there border and title is there all other things are available there titles and faces are gone so you will have to adjust faces and titles again you are going to add link from one page to another you can click on basic flowchart shapes and you will see that off page references and on page references are there so easily you can click an on page reference there so if you want to reference page one to page two you can add there easily you will see a dialog box it is going to show new page you can add these off page reference to a new page to page 3 existing page because we have created a little while ago we have created a new page which is page 2 so I have keep shape text synchronized that means if you are going to write anything within that shape then if you whenever we are going to change text the text another page will also be synchronized uh, we will see that in a little while and insert hyperlinks on shapes and you can drag it from here to here so you can type continue as soon as you are going to type continue there you can see if you double click there you will see continue is written here because we synchronize text so if you change text here again then that text will be changed you can see hyperlink icon so if you double click there it will it is going to move from page 1 to page 2 in this way you can use off page reference and in our future videos we, we are going to talk about sub processes and other things as well so I do not need an additional page right now that's why I'm removing this right now so you can delete a page if you don't want you can see the there are are four different sections one is named as recruiter another is HR admin and the third one is hiring manager and the fourth one is candidate human resource recruiting swimline diagram is a business process in this process there are different three different phrases these are high level steps can vary from organization to organization according to your requirement it displays which people are responsible for which processes the connectors are going to show uh, which process will be done after which uh, which one there is the starting point and here is the ending part so in this way you can easily create a swim lane diagram by using Microsoft Visio 2010 to verify a swim lane diagram you can click on process click on the process tab and you can click on check diagram if it is going to show diagram validation is complete no issues were found in the current document that means that the way you have designed your diagram it is totally correct and all the connectors are connected one process to another swim lane diagrams can be used in a unified modeling language activity diagram here is an example of a swim lane diagrams where it is uh, I have designed it vertically I didn't use it horizontally you can see swim lane here you can drag these shapes from these portions to in the workspace you just have to drag these shapes from here to here and you can create different swim lens and you can see these these activities uh, are going to be performed by authors these activities are going to be performed by reviewers and these activities are going to be performed by site administrators and this is an example of human activity a diagram where swim lens are used. If you are going to start a BPMN a diagram, which is actually a business process modeling notation diagram, then uh, you can also see swim lens or pool swim lens where this is a lane and this one is a lane and this one is a lane. This is an example. In our future video, we will discuss more about it how to create a BPMN basic shape diagrams where swim lens are used. In this video tutorial, we have learned how to create a simple swim lane diagram or cross-functional flowchart diagram by using Microsoft Visio 2010. Thank you very much for watching.